three, we worked on scene three. Uh, we scene three is Sarah, not Sarah, David meeting David's. Sophie for the first time. Yeah. Oh, my imagine for it, I think Zach's vision as well was uh, this awkward sense of David, of Sophie panicking. Can't foot trap. She's panicking because she knows if she takes a foot out, can't get it out. Someone's gonna find it, and they know she's a mutant with six toes. David sees her, and she gets. She's like, "Oh crap!" And we had. I had said they're panicking, and David's like, "Oh, come on, let me have my help, yeah." And she's like pushing away all the time, but in the end, he helps her. He finds out her secret, but because he's got a mutant, he's a mutant as well. He kind of finds the true friend as he can. It doesn't tell him her secret, but he can understand and empathise with her. And that'd be gross though. That would, um, like, yeah. We uh, our directness. I think I achieved it with the two cast members. I think they did really well on it. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll get a video built next week. And we wanted to show, like, the position where, uh, is it Sophie and, or Sarah? Sarah. Sarah. It was Sophie, but yeah. it was actually Sarah. Yeah. Sarah, yeah. Sarah called Sophie. And we wanted her foot to be in bang in the middle, like, focused, out, focused on the foot, because that's what the this scene was about, her six toes. And that's because we can't, in yeah, real we terms, we can't really show six toes. Really, we had so. trouble showing it, so yeah. Zach had the idea of using, I mean, I went for Stan Vlasky's style of acting within the scene, but Zach juxtaposed it with uh, the Birkhoff Birkhoff um, style of like abstract because I wanted to show like her foot game track but like I wanted to use abstract so I we had to use abstract yeah, yeah we had to use abstract so we got some sticks and it was basically onto the show it was like a trap like, with the mutant people and um, when she got her foot stuck all these people all these fringe people like oh it's like creepy creepy get the foot stuck to show that her foot is stuck we wanted then, to empathise on the foot, so all the sticks are on the foot, that's why. They all move away like instantly, yeah, so put the sticks down to come part of the forest, and it's just so for that of a foot trap, but we're kind of showing in, in her head, this is what she saw, that if she doesn't get her foot free, she'll, she'll be outcast to the fringe with the mum. Yeah. Uh, later on, we meet Mary in the scene, we need, uh, I've worked on that bit, so I didn't see it. Um, we have Mary very empathising with David, kind of wary, but understands the nice lad. And that's what we got to that scene within the rehearsal three. Uh, I believe we achieved, we are achieving what we were aiming for. Yeah. I think the scene we've done so far, two, three things we've done, the image, uh, first scene, second, second scene, third scene, look really nice, yeah. really bang on. I mean, a bit of tweaks, a bit of line learnings, but... Yeah, and if we were out there scripts, I think it would look really good and what we wanted to show from that. So. And we kind of realised in the performance that due to the amount of scene changes, uh, location changes, we wanted a plain stage, staging's mm. plain, with either two tables, chairs, so we're using tables and chairs really, and we use those in different ways to create the scene in different aspects with light lighting, so lighting would be the biggest, yeah. the most important thing to show uh, change in scenery, change in location within the town and the forest around it. Yeah, and we also used music in the first oh. um, bit of the image, where the transition, because of the transition it was really, we wanted to make it fast, but however, it was like very scrambly, so we put some nice music behind it. It's and, yeah. not nice, it's off-putting. It's, oh, yeah, it's like bleeding where his light is or some kind of aspect. Like creepy, weirdy music. Like. But it, it works quite well, it, it adds this tension, but it's also kind of soothing to go with the image that we created. Because we want the audience to think like, well, what's happening, I don't understand. Mm. And like, I yeah. think compared to other cast, mem other cast members we've seen, other ideas that they're showing, They've all more set in modern term or different term, like place. Places. But we have the challenge, I mean, they have their intent, but we have the challenge of showing it's in the future but also it's digressed society, which is the biggest aspect I think yeah. that's the challenge in the show. Like, how we also wanted to say that society still hasn't kind of changed with the, like, from basically blacks and whites. Like yeah. them, them contrast back in the day where like the whites were dominant. I think like eighty years ago, so yeah, it's it's not, it still yeah. happens today, but it's not. Oh, as, yeah, not as bad, but it's still happening. That's what it's part time Africa. Yeah, and that's what we really want to show that the world is still is still going to be separated, even though there's like two different people, but the same person. There's still going to there's still going to be this contrast between them two. In the way the play chat shows the aspect that even when the humans are on the verge of extinction yeah. and they come back, there will still be segregation of some part of society. It's human nature to Segre push off the weak, the different, the different uh, people. Who would they think? People that challenge an yeah. idea. Yeah. And so we're trying to challenge that, aren't we? Like, yeah. Share it.
Merci.